Take a look at this Pipistrel Panthera and looking at it, it is quite striking. They say beauty by design and to my eyes, it certainly has the beauty. My last video was on the Diamond DA-40, another low wing four seat T-tail aircraft. Yes, the Diamond is the better known aircraft, but let's take a look at this Panthera and see why you might consider this other than its amazing looks. This video will cover the Pipistrel Panthera, which is currently in development. I'll cover its features, the cost, performance, safety, competitors, and more. The first thing to note is its retractable landing gear, which of course helps with aerodynamics, and you get a choice of a MoGas engine and, coming soon, electric or hybrid engines. So yes, the sleek design isn't just for looks, it's there to make it more efficient, which means friendlier to the environment, and of course that means that we get a better range, better cruising speed, all at a lower cost for fuel. So this is what the company Pipistrel have to say about it. This is their words. Panthera achieves unprecedented efficiency through careful aerodynamic shaping, retractable undercarriage, lightweight composite structure, a tailor-made propeller, and a dedicated performance exhaust system. Efficiency is translated directly into more speed for the same power. No other four-seat aircraft exists that flies this fast for the same engine. For the owner, this represents significantly lower operating costs and simplified maintenance. The maximum range is available with any payload, something which pilots of four-seat aeroplanes have been wishing for. Before we get into the cabin safety and engine, let's look at the performance stats. So the Lycoming IO 540V engine has a max power of 260 horsepower. It has a useful load of 500 kilograms, which is pretty damn good. A max takeoff weight of 1,315 kilograms, a stall speed with the flaps down at 55 knots and a top speed of 220 knots. And at 75 power cruise, you're going to get 198 knots, which is pretty awesome. And you're also going to get a really awesome range as well, over 1,000 nautical miles with four people. And it can get in and out of runways of 2,300 feet or more. So it's got great cruising speed, great range, great useful load, but it slightly loses out to the Diamond DA-40 on landing performance there. But the Panthera is designed to have excellent handling at low speeds and superior stall, post-stall characteristics. Just note that those stats are for the Lycoming engine. Pipistrel have published some figures for their electric and hybrid engines, but those engines are still in development. But these are good options to have for future proofing. For the toys, it has three multifunction displays gathered around the Garmin G500 series, a 3D trim interface so the pilot can trim the aircraft faster and in a more precise way. The Panthera also has a full airframe parachute rescue system, which seems to be all the rage these days. Just try not to land in a tree or on top of somebody's house. The cabin has great visibility, similar to the Diamond DA-40, also with leather seats, and the aircraft is designed to be smooth and quiet in flight. Regarding safety, well, I've already mentioned the full airframe parachute, the modern avionics, and its excellent handling at low speeds. It's hard to beat the Diamond's industry-leading safety record, and as the Panthera is relatively new, or a relatively new aircraft which began testing in 2012, so all I can say at the moment is I can't find any record online of any incidents. If you want to know more about all this, see the Pipistrel Panthera website or their YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below this video. No, I'm not sponsored. I just like to make these videos for fun and I like researching these aircraft. Hit the like button if you like what I do and you want me to keep making videos. So let's take a look at costs. What's it going to cost to buy one? Well, the base price is 600,000 US dollars. You can put a deposit down with Pipistrel, you'll need 50,000 euros to do that. They are a European company, and that will give you a delivery slot. Then, obviously, there's options to be added. So I'm seeing on the used aircraft market, Pipistrel Panther is going for around 750,000 US dollars to 800,000 US dollars. So that's kind of an idea of what they're going to cost after you've added your optional extras. It's worth mentioning that the Panthera is designed to have significantly lower operating costs than other four-seater aircraft. The aircraft can carry four people over 1,000 miles at a cruise speed of 230 knots, burning only 10 gallons per hour of MoGas fuel, which is really good. The parachute repack as well on the Panthera is expected to cost around 5,000 US dollars needed every nine years. 
For competitors, I've already mentioned the Diamond DA40, that was my last video. And of course, there is the Sirius SR22, I have a video on that as well. You can have a look at the Mooney M20, the Beechcraft Bonanza, I have a video on that, and the Piper PA28, I have another video on that too if you want to check them out. If you want a high wing aircraft that's modern, you might want to check out the Tecam P2010. And let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on any of those or look at the competitors of the Pipistrel a bit more. I'll probably do a follow-up video on this when there's more information about the electric and the hybrid engines. So check the video description for more information and links if that has come out. Or if you want any links on information about the Pipistrel Panthera, they're all in the description below the video. And if you want to check out my Diamond DA40 video, check here. And if you want to have a look at my Cirrus SR22 video, check here two of its main competitors.